U.S. Army National Guard aviation soldiers know the risks of flying over water, and today's training will give them the knowledge and skills needed in case they encounter a sea survival situation. I'm Chief Warrant Officer 2 Paul Brazinas. I'm part of Detachment 3 Golf Company, 126 Aviation Regiment, and I'm a 153 Mike or a U-860 pilot. Uh, today we're doing what's known as a dunker training. It's overwater survival training. It's all, also often referred to as helicopter overwater survival training or host. And it's to prepare us for, you know, the unlikely event of having to land in the water, ditch our aircraft, get out safely. So my name is uh, Specialist Daniel Pomerantz, 68 Whiskey uh, Flight Medic. It's a Detachment 1, Company G, 1st of the 189 Aviation. A medevac detachment, the point of injury in a facility transport, go to uh, patients in the field and pick them up, extricate them to the next higher level of care. I'm a 15 Tango, which is a Blackhawk crew chief, so I sit in the back of Blackhawks and make sure we don't run into things. Uh, and I'm with a 126 medevac. We do a lot of log runs between Oahu, where we're stationed, and Big Island, Maui, Kauai, other places. And for long stretches of those flights, we are over water. This is the kind of training you'd like to have if you're flying over water, and, and the worst should happen, you have to land in the water. Reporting from Marine Corps Base Hawaii, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Brian Ng.